That's true. Every part of what I just said is true. A hundred percent of it. And it makes Hassan sound like a f***ing pervert and an asshole. And it's true. I have no issue saying that. All the people saying things like, um, Kid, I'm the pervert. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to go a long way with this narrative, you know? And it's funny because even his own community was like correcting him. What? They literally admit to making it up? What is this? So, I'm gonna give an example of something that, um... I'm gonna give an example of something that I, I received a lot What is this? Guys, okay? Uh, I think that it's good to say that Hassan had sex with a prostitute at a that was later investigated by authorities for human trafficking in a scheme that was called Brutal. I think that's good to include that statement. Okay, you guys are like, no, I don't think you should do that. That's not fake news. Okay, see, that's where you spot the people that don't know how to make f***ing moves happen. It's not fake news. Nothing I said there was untrue. Everything I said there is 100% true. I'll say it again. Hassan had sex. Like he's, he is trying to massage it in a way where he can imply, he can imply, uh, you know, inappropriate things that he knows are not true without getting legal scrutiny for uh intent to defame okay with a at a that was later investigated or sorry rated by the authorities for human trafficking and what was called a brutal system of oppression that's true every part of what i just said is true a hundred percent of it and it makes hassan sound like a f***ing pervert and an asshole. And it's true. I have no issue saying that. All the people saying things like, um, yeah, dog, I'm the, pervert. you're gonna, you're gonna be able to go a long way with this narrative, you know? And it's funny because even his own community was like correcting him. Where the f is it? I saw people in like his own, uh, I saw people in his own Reddit. It was on my subreddit, uh, being like, Hey, wasn't, wasn't, wasn't the, wasn't the little, uh, raided for tax evasion and then they were able to successfully sue the Berlin government for defamation and someone immediately goes it doesn't matter just keep saying it anyway well you guys are all the reasons that uh anyone who doesn't agree i think is the reason we have yeah so Berlin pays um the supreme court you guys are all pussies you don't have what it takes to move the needle because it's like, oh, oh whoa, 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 where's the context? The, wait, wait a second. Well, well, they did rate it for human trafficking, but it was only one instance. And, and later in court, they proved that it wasn't that case. I don't care. I don't care. You f***ed up at a place that was later rated for human trafficking. That's on you, dog. I didn't f*** up at a place that was rated for human trafficking. That was you. Like, he knows. He knows the... He knows that it's legal. He knows that it was rated. And then they successfully sued the government. Uh, this is from 2023. I went to Artemis in 2010. I'm very openly pro sex work. The conversation that took place was literally about uh, me being pro sex work. I also dated a porn star openly. For those of you who don't know, welcome. Okay. I have a lot of friends in the sex work industry. And not only that, but also the that I went to in 2010 was rated in 2016, six years after. I was 18 when I went. 2016 is when uh, the, the uh, was raided, okay? And not only that, but also uh, they were raided for tax evasion and they successfully sued the, the state for slandering them. So the fact that like Dan will try to still package this as a, as a story when it's a very clear non-issue specifically to try to get a lot of the swerfs work on board to be like, yeah, he's a piece of shit is ridiculous. You know, Berlin pays two hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars euros uh, compensation over police raid. The operators of the Artemis brothel had launched two lawsuits after police raided the premises in twenty sixteen. The city administration has apologized for detaining staff and making prejudicial statements at a press conference. The city of Berlin has issued an apology to a major brothel two hundred sixty nine thousand dollars in compensation over a police raid that happened seven years ago. Hundreds of police raided the Artemis sauna and brothel in West Coys in twenty sixteen, detaining several people on suspicion of human trafficking, tax evasion, and other violations. Crimes like these can be common in the German sex industry, which in and of itself is not illegal. 
At a press conference afterwards, public prosecutors made reference to the organized crime, but the accusations could not be proven, and the Berlin Regional Court would not admit the prosecution's case in 2018. Two operators of the brothel then took the city to the court for wrongful detention before reaching a settlement with the administration. The state of Berlin apologizes for the pretrial detention and considerable disadvantages suffered by those accused at the same time as a result of the search, the pretrial detention, and the indictment and statements made by public prosecutors' office. The city's judicial administration said in a statement on Friday. Also, it's f***ing ridiculous because they're trying to say that I'm doing human trafficking, okay? That's what is so f***ing insane. Like, it's additionally funny coming from a guy who apparently has direct involvement, financial involvement with Diddy, Sean P. Diddy Combs. So you can say he founded a site that was popular with groomers, had passed through his company's servers. Nothing in that sentence was untrue either. It's a fact that he owned a site that is infamous for child grooming and funded by P. Diddy. Context doesn't matter, right? Yeah, like, he has a, a more direct involvement with Sean P. Diddy Combs, who is now in prison, okay, for a website that he created that apparently, apparently was already, like, under scrutiny due to actively using that website. I didn't even know this website existed, okay? Like, what an insane set of circumstances. Like, I didn't even know this, but it's wild that this person had the audacity to knowingly try to massage the truth in a way that is uh, in a way that is is slanderous but uh trying to avoid any sort of legal scrutiny with the intent to defame right when in fact this motherfucker was you know started tiny chat tiny chat has been referenced in like fbi investigations apparently i didn't even know that where is the is this it According to court documents from approximately 2014 to 2016, Mohamed Lukman Rana, 33 of Vaughan, Ontario, used online messages as size Omegle and Tiny Chat to target both adult and minor victims living in the United States and Canada to produce sexually explicit images. That's his website. You made that website. You got $1.5 million from Diddy and Ashton Kutcher to build this website that, like, convicted pedophiles have used to literally f***ing trick minors, dude. U.S. victims ranging from 12 to 17 into producing sexually explicit images for posting for by posing as a minor male. Why the f the f are you talking about? That's crazy. That's a crazy thing. Big surprise. This info is nowhere to be seen on LSF. Yeah, I mean, LSF is run by a Destiny uh, fan. Uh, that is 100% correct. Yeah, multiple, uh, multiple of the moderators on LSF are Destiny fans. But the main mod, the head mod of LSF is like a Destiny Orbiter who was applied for a DGG -er of the year. That's crazy, man. Fix your f***ing damn life. You're 50 years old. You're like spending every goddamn day on this conquest that has seemingly been unsuccessful. Dude said he's going to sue you for what? For what? Like, I'm not even implying he's a pedophile. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that he has a direct involvement. The f You're going to sue me for using the justice.gov website? I'm sure he wants to go through Discover in regards to his tiny chat website. Yeah. Yeah. He was, he was literally running ads. What's running... happening here? That we got an ad? He's, he was literally trying to make it seem like ads are running on my page still because uh, another content creator was running ads. It's so desperate. Also, doesn't this directly contradict the adpocalypse narrative that there are ads still running on the f website? Like, ad, that's weird. How did we get an ad on Hassan's page? Oh, it's because Hassan was hosting someone, but I was still on this page, and the ad plays right here. Okay, this is a legitimate thing that happened. Okay, they were ho Hassan was hosting someone. Thank you for <laughs> hosting someone, Hassan. This is we were actually Twitch. Doesn't even have the capacity to host, by the way. It just says a suggested channel. Twitch no longer has offline hosting as a feature. It's just a suggested channel. On this URL right here. Say Balvin. We're so proud of your sponsorship with hey, Cheetos. Let's get you on our wall of fame. We're not associated Balvin. with the, one, the brand below. My mom gonna be so proud. Cheetos, official sponsor of J Balvin's fingertips. Oh, what's happening now? Democrat. Now we click the link and look at what we're watching. Imagine, imagine not buying a subscription so we could troll more efficiently. Times will be tough. I'm not even running the ad. I haven't run ads since my contract ended. In 10 years, Hassanabi Syndrome is going to be in medical journals regarding the obsessive stalking and hatred of you online. Yeah, it's a sad state of affairs, dude. He's going to clip you out of context, by the way. Oh my God, that's going to be crazy. 
Last December, the Berlin Court of Appeal ruled that comments made by the public prosecutor's office at a press conference were prejudicial, exaggerated, lurid, and culpably in breach of official duties. It ordered the city administrator to pay 100,000 euros in damages. This is the second time. They got not one, but two successful uh, defamation trial uh, uh, awards, by the way. But the operators had also announced a second lawsuit for wrongful detention and demanded a considerably higher amount. The apology and 250,000 euros in compensation were a part of a settlement reached by the city and the operators. The case is now closed. The operator's lawyer, Margaret Greffin von Galen, said that the settlement was a good signal to restore confidence in the rule of law. They claim they will use the cash to compensate the female employees who were detained at the time and will donate the remainder to charity. It's also crazy because, it's also crazy because, like, you know, I went to the like, how the f*** am I sitting here defending some goddamn German that I went to, at this point, 14 years ago, or 15 years ago? What the f***? Yeah, the amount of mental gymnastics uh, that, that people, the, the amount of hoops that people need to jump